guy, look at you. Look at him, huh? Beautiful. I'm Joni Hall and I'm a cattle educator. I travel Australia in my truck with 20 dogs, training cattle on a contract basis. Righto, stop! When I first got Chet, he was, he was rough, you know, like he was biting me, he was scratching me. Sit, sit, Chet, sit. He didn't want to do any of them rules. So it's taken a fair bit to pull Chet back in the oh, line, just quietly. <laughs> Good work. He's not classy at all. And anything he does, he's goofy. Because he just doesn't think about what he's going to do. Like, he just does it, and then he goes, ow, that hurt. He thinks he's Justin Bieber, he doesn't think the rules apply to him. Stays up late, parties on, sleeps all day. You're gonna have to do a lot of takes if you do it like that. <laughs> he's cool. Yeah, I like that he doesn't do anything with style. He definitely has a big heart when I mean, it's not hot. <laughs> what I l love mostly about my job simply is that I get to hang out with cows all day and I'm left alone to do and work as I really want to. And stop, stop, Barra. I want to work cattle so they are a lot calmer and safer and settled and happy. Like, I like working with happy cattle. Like, it makes your job so much better when your cattle are happy, if they're healthy, they're settled and calm. Good boy. I wouldn't consider myself a dog whisperer. I'm a bit of a dog yeller. Push, push, push. Speak, speak. Speak, speak. Speak, speak. Um, not definitely not a cattle whisperer, but I'm extremely passionate about it. I could talk cows and dogs all day. Hey dogs, hear to me. I love training dogs. I love training animals. I don't really know why. I just like it. Yeah. Hey dogs. What really got me properly into it is I had a really bad accident. So I fell off a four wheeler and I got stuck under it for seven hours. So that injury took nine months. It took me nine months to walk again. It was serious. I nearly lost my leg. So I actually really got it on a cellular level of the importance of not chasing your own cattle. Like, let the dogs chase the cattle. Because I had seven hours to think about it, stuck under the motorbike. So I got into training dogs, and then I've got into training cattle, and yeah, I met Neil. That's quite acceptable for someone that did a school 10 years ago and wanted to spew. Hey, go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast. <laughs> I did a few consistent schools with Neil. That was the sole change for me of really getting into it. Thanks. You're a good teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't really know the reason why the universe has picked me to do this job. There's been uh, lots of other people go before me. I don't know if I just stepped in at the right time. It, it is a very hard industry to get into. You're, you're under a lot of scrutiny a lot of the time. Over the last 15 years, like I've tailed in New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, Territory, WA. As far as getting contracts, it's just never been an issue. The universe has picked me for this role for some reason. So they are your companions, but when you work with them for 10 hours a day and then you sleep beside them all night, I think sometimes you just need a spell from them as well. I do get lonely. I've got Chet, I've got Cheeky, I've got all the dogs. I've got company, but I'm just alone. See you tomorrow.
What amazes me every day about my dogs is their ability to work all day. And I'm pretty sure they've trained me more than I've trained them. Get off, go back. They've taught me lots of things. Patience. I just made that up. <laughs>